Lesson 80, adding and subtracting mixed measures and polynomials. So mixed measures is a lot like hours and minutes or pounds and ounces. So if we wanted to add one hour and 32 minutes with three hours and 45 minutes. When you're adding, you just add straight down. So we're going to have 77 minutes and four hours. However, 77 minutes is more than an hour. So we have to simplify. So we're going to take away 60 minutes and we're going to add that hour here to the four hours. So we'll have 17 minutes, three hours. So it would be three hours. No, what's four plus one? Ugh, five. Sorry, five hours, 17 minutes. That makes a lot more sense. Now, if we're subtracting, sometimes we have to borrow um, from the next one over. So let's, here's just an example. So nine yards, six inches, minus four yards, two feet, 10 inches. Okay, so six inches is smaller than 10 inches, so we have to borrow from the feet. There's no feet here. So let's borrow from the yards. Since there are three feet in one yard, we're gonna take away one yard and then we're gonna call this three feet, okay? Now we can borrow 12 inches from one foot. So if we take away one foot, we have two feet, and we're gonna add 12 to six, because that's how many inches are in one foot. So it's 18 inches. Then we subtract. So we do 18 minus 10 is eight inches two feet minus two feet, there's zero feet, and eight minus four yards is four yards. So when we subtract those two, we get four yards, eight inches. And this is just to take away the zero feet. We don't have to write the zero feet in there. There we go, that's adding and subtracting mixed measures. So always remember when you're adding, you simplify after you add. And when you're subtracting, you have to do all this borrowing, and then you're usually done. Just simplify if you, if you take one measure out, like this one. So for polynomials, we have what's called a monomial. Everyone say monomial. That's just one term. So here's some examples of monomials. 3x, that's one term. It has two factors, but it's still one term. 8y to the fourth, that's a monomial, it's just one term. Then we have what's called a binomial. Everyone say binomial. A binomial has two terms separated by plus or minus signs. So here's an example of a binomial. 7y to the 8th minus 6m to the 4th. That's a binomial. Another one would be 3 plus xy squared z cubed. There's two terms are separated by a plus sign and this one's separated by a minus sign. And then we have a trinomial Everyone say trinomial. A trinomial has three terms. Again, it's separated by plus or minus signs. We don't have to write that down, we'll just remember that. Here's an example of a trinomial. Four x cubed minus six x plus m. That's a trinomial. The degree of a polynomial. 
Okay, so wait a minute. Anything more than three terms, so if we had four terms or five or anything greater, we just call it a polynomial. Everyone say polynomial. Okay. All of these are polynomials. They just have special names. So um, we're talking about the monomial, binomial, trinomial, and all other polynomials. If we want to find the degree, it's just the highest exponent of Hmm. of the variables. Let's see. I'm not sure this is. Just a minute. Let me get this. Ah, of the variables in a term. Highest exponent of the variables in the term. Okay. So I'm going to give you lots of examples. So examples degree. What degree is it? Okay, so the first example is just a y. The exponent here is 1, so the degree is just 1. Or you could say it's a first degree. Um, x cubed. The exponent is 3. There's only one variable, so it's the third degree. 4ac. Each of these variables has a 1 for an exponent. So just so you can see what it looks like, you would add the two ver uh, exponents. So you'd have a 2. This one is a second degree. A negative 7. So the degree is um, the exponent on the variables. Since negative 7 is a constant, it's not a variable. The degree is 0. There's no degree on that one x squared minus 4. So this degree is 2, the first term. Second term is 0. It's the highest one for polynomial. So this one is second degree. If I had a cubed minus a squared plus a minus 1. So here's the degrees. This is 3. This one has a degree of 2. We're just looking at the terms. The a has a degree of 1. The negative 1 has a degree of 0. So the highest one is 3. So this one is the third term, or third degree, sorry. Uh, here is another example, 2x cubed y plus 3xy squared minus 7xy. So we'll look at each term. This term is degree 4. The second term is degree 3. So you have to add these little ones in if you want to just write them so you don't forget. And the last term has a degree of 2. So the highest one was 4, so this is of the fourth degree. So sometimes we have to arrange our terms in order from, um, like in descending order. So from greatest to lowest um, degree. So I'm going to give you an example where we have to arrange in descending order. And this is uh, by degree. Okay, that's what that means. So we have x plus 2x cubed plus 2 plus x squared. So if we just look at the degrees, this one has a degree of 1, this one is a degree of 3, that's 0, and this one's 2. So when we do descending order, we're going to do the biggest term first. So this is a plus 2x cubed. You can just do 2x cubed. You don't have to write the plus sign. Then the second degree is x squared, so plus x squared. The first degree is x, and the zero degree is 2. And they're all plus signs. So if there are any minus, you've got to watch those signs. And that's the end of the lesson.